I think uh, I did most of my learning. The very beginning was on uh, my electric guitar, learning to use a pick. The important thing with a pick is that it's, it's, it's really the biggest amplifier that there is. I've got one somewhere. Um, it's a, just a piece of plastic like that. And you hold it, you try and hold it like, in a comfortable way. I learned to um, the first chords, so E minor. Or and of course, the natural thing is to go down. And you have to learn to go up to get some speed, because it's much faster than fingers, actually. A pick is louder and faster, and it, and it makes for a better recording noise. Is you have to go up and down to alternate. So when you're playing, it's not all down, down, like, down, 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 down. It's. So it's up and down all the time. But it didn't take me long before, you know, I was learning to, to finger pick as a, just backing a friend's big sister and she wanted to sing in folk clubs and stuff, so. And I uh, had a little pal who was one Everly brother and I was the other one. Do you remember your finger picking moment? The moment when you thought, yeah, this is for me? It begins really with the other. Just, you can either use three fingers or two. I think I started using three. But the tricky bit, the tricky bit was getting was making that big step leap forward into the claw hammer style where the thumb is playing four beats to the bar and not like one. Sometimes you'll just get somebody who's finger styling but they're only doing a, a sort of a singing nun kind of a deal where you've got a one thumb and, and then the, this. But what you've got to try to do is to get the thing going one, two, three, four. Like that. And then you... Once you, once you get used to that pattern, for instance, on a C chord, you, 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 where, the, where the root note is on the fifth string, there, you know, you try and get something going where it's... And then to, to get the fingers to kind of... Yeah, the chord just sits there. That's not doing anything. We know that's OK. <laughs> You've got to battle to get that to sound right anyway, and not be, you know sounding like damping all other strings and so forth you just get to you have to practice the chords so that they sing but then getting this getting this thing was a breakthrough point definitely for me because the once the fingers start finding a way around suddenly instead of or it's just it's starting to get a rhythm to it, you know, and, and you can then you then you learn to pick out tunes with the lick the lick going on. I suppose I began with a with a basic folk pick. And then, you know, as I sort of got into the country blues players and more in my teens, you know, the the Blind Blakes and the Blind Willie McTowles and so on and so forth, uh, you start to play more of a, like a piano style with a thumb. And so it's still based around that. You know that, so you get... So you're kind of starting to play like a little bit of a ragtime. You know. You know. And then a... In the, the thumb is sort of playing those like, it's sort of like piano licks. And then, 
And then I just sort of started to develop playing rhythms. Where the, my fingers are coming down onto the, they're breaking the rules, if you like, coming down onto the lower strings. And the thumbs coming up onto the top strings. And this is a guitar teacher's nightmare because I'm not really doing it the way it's supposed to be done. So no one taught you? Not really. Uh, uh, I started with a, a basic little chord book, you know, and, and uh, I think it was a Shadows Guitar Tutor book that I don't even know whether it had much to do with them. I'm not sure. But it taught me about make the, being the pick going up and down. It had a couple of little chord diagrams, little fingers, and then you had to work out, well, this is your first finger, and this is your second, and that's the first string, and this is the second. And uh, story of my life. <laughs> you know, you start somewhere and end up somewhere else. And how long did it take you? It was painstaking. Really. Well, yeah, I think it is. It, yeah, it's falling asleep playing and wanting to do it. You've got to really want to want to do do it. Yeah, you have to really want to be able to play. <laughs>